It's circular. It comes in three pieces, and it's gonna extend the life of your face mask for more than four days. Let's go. Hi, I hope you're all doing well. But before we start, a big thanks to Alfred Anderson, who is the creator of the capsule that we will be using today. I've linked in the description down below. Make sure you go into Thinkiverse and tip him, buy him a coffee, and really show the support. With that out of the way, let's get started with what exactly is a 3D printed filter capsule. Like the name suggests, the filter capsule is actually specifically designed for the 3M6000 and 7000 series respirator in which you can use a face mask or surgical mask as a filter to put inside the capsule. I know you guys are a little bit confused. Let me explain how it works. And the first thing we do is to prepare the filter, which is your mask. Before you do anything, sensitize everything, but make sure, make sure that no alcohol or water touches the mask or else it will destroy the mask instantly. So no water or rubbing alcohol touches the mask. Very important. The first step is to cut the sides and get the maximum area of the mask. Next, we use the backing as a guide to cut a circle filter from the mask. Technically, if you're being very precise with your cutting, you should at least get about 10 circular filters. But if you're like me, who is not that good with scissors, you should at least get eight, which probably gonna last you for about four days because you need two filters per day for each of the capsules. All right, once we have cut out the filter, we'll put it into the cover and then we'll put the backing on top of the filter. And lastly, we twist the adapter in to secure the entire capsule. Once the filter capsule is all set, you twist it back on the 3M respirator. Make sure that the smaller end goes in front. It's a little bit tricky at first, but um, after a couple try, I think you guys will get used to it and understand what I'm talking about. And there you have it. It's just simple as that. The hardest part is probably the 3D printing, which I'm going to cover in another video. But in terms of how it works, it's, it's quite simple. So what do you need to make that 3D printer capsule? Well, first of all, you need the 3D printer, you need the filaments, you need the mask, and then you need time. I mean, lots of time. By now you're probably gonna question, what's the point of going through all this pain just to make the filter capsule? Wouldn't you be better off if you, let's say, wear a surgical mask or even get the 3M official filters? In short, no, don't go through all this pain. Don't waste your time and money just to learn how to do 3D printing, just to do a pair of capsule, because I'm doing giveaway for the 3D printed capsules. Make sure you sign up in the link down below if you want a capsule. As to why would anyone wearing such a bulky mask walking around the city? Well, let me tell you why the Hong Kong people do it. Hong Kong people do it because they really want to save up the mask for those who really need them the most. We're talking about doctors, nurses, the ones who does cleaning, the dirty team, especially the seniors, not because they don't want to stay at home, it's because they really have to go to the hospital for proper treatment every so often. That is why we should use the filter capsule and put less demand on the surgical masks so the front lines can get them. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you liked the video. The other button seems okay too. Let me know what you think about this capsule. Do you think it's nonsense? Do you think it's gonna work? If you want one, make sure you sign up with the link down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.